What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My RC Life, where we do all things RC and a little bit of everything in between. Let's go! What's up, everybody? Trax is Mike from My RC Life, and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your H1 flight controller on your Flywing FW450 version 3. Now I think this will also work for the version 1, the version 2, and the version 2.5. I had to go ahead and do this after I crashed mine and put servos and stuff on there. I had to get into the software, play around with straightening them out, and um, then I broke my GPS unit, the plug-in on the back. I broke that and had to order a new one. And once you do that, you need to reset the gyro. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that don't just get right to the point. But it's easier than you think. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. The helicopter comes with this little USB to USB style C plug-in. This is going to plug into the back of the copter. This is going to plug into your computer or your laptop. Now, you don't have to go outside to do this like you see some of the other videos. You can do this right inside on your PC. I have a little mini PC. It hooks up to my TV, and that's what I did it on. Now, all I did is go to my search engine. I used Google, and I typed in H1 Flight Controller software. Now after you type in your H1 flight controller software, there's a few different places you can get it. There's one on Heli Direct, flywingrc.com. Um, I just click on the flywingrc.com download there. On the Heli Direct website. H1 flight controller software. The one at the very top will be the latest one. You're going to click on that. And I don't know if you noticed, but a little something went whoop right up here. If we click on that, you can see we have the download right here. Now, I've downloaded it two times because I already had it here. But I downloaded it a second time to make the video for you guys. So, we'll open up that first one there. Okay. And then it's going to open up your file thing here. It pops up. H1 Heli. Right click on that, hit open, and here we go. You can see we got this opened up. Then you're going to want to take your USB-C, and that's going to plug in right there. All right, so that's plugged in. And we got the other end here. This is going to plug in to... Your laptop, your PC, whatever it may be. When you plug it in, you should get a chime. Just like that. Then you're going to want to go over to the left side of your page. This little thing here that keeps turning green. Once I hover over it, it kind of looks like a little USB plug right there. You're going to want to, just below that, there's the word connection. Click connection. It'll say COM3. It should say whatever COM you have it plugged into. But you'll see it's right up here. You see that orange circle? It's thinking right here. Okay, it's finally connected. And right here you can see total flight time, 27 minutes. That's how long I've flown this helicopter so far. All right, so up at the top you have main main rotor, and sensor. Okay, if you're wanting to calibrate the compass, click on sensor, and right here, as compass considerations, it talks about this, you know, every time you install a new machine or change a flight controller, installation position, you need to calibrate the compass. You can read all this on your own. You want to make sure you're not around any strong magnets when you're doing this um, or anything like with high power. You know, don't be standing around a welder that's operational when you're trying to do this. Um, 
Now I have done it right near my TV, no issues. Now magnemometer calibration, this is gonna be what you want to click. All right, so after you click it, then you're gonna start doing what some of us in the RC drone world and helicopter world call a dance. Click that and as you'll see it says, please start spinning. Now you are still plugged in. So it is going to be a little hard, but you know, just try not to tangle it up is all. So we're going to start spinning this and you'll see these orange lines will start coming up slightly. Okay, then we're going to tip it like this. Now there is no exact way, just kind of start tipping it and spinning it. Let's do it inverted and spin it. Put it on its side. Do some spins. Let's go to the other side. Spin it the other way, I guess. Let's go tail up now. Let's do one of these. Unwind it a bit. Okay, and you'll see we filled all the way up. And uh, that means it's done. I'm gonna go back and click okay. Except now, if, if it was done right, it'll say successfully calibrated, which, you know, that is saying successfully calibra calibrated here. Now, another thing you can do while you're in here, um, you can, uh, you got your low battery protection on or off. The current voltage it is set at is 3.6 volts per cell. Um, and then it'll return to home. Um, you can adjust that up or down. I'm just going to leave mine right where it's at. All right. Now, another thing, when you get your copter, it's probably not going to be able to fly inverted uh, upside down. And that is because of this switch right here auto invert to make your helicopter so it will fly upside down it is simple as this just enable that now this is going to pop up and it's going to have some disclaimer stuff blah 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 yes i agree to the terms then it's going to pop up auto invert is now on um now you can mark it easy or professional easy means when the helicopter is upside down when you push right it's still going to go right left is left forward is forward backwards is backwards now if you click it to professional when it's upside down the helicopter is going to be everything's going to be reversed as if it would be if it didn't have that gyro and you were flying it in 3d mode when you push right this thing's gonna go left. When you push forward, it's gonna go backwards. When you push up uh, to make the helicopter go up, it's gonna go down. That's what the professional setting is for. Um, now that's what's cool about this flight controller. This say from flight controller, they got that easy mode and it allows it for newbies like me to fly upside down very easily. Like I said many times, your mama, your grandmama can fly this helicopter. It's that easy. I don't have my controller in here, but if I did and I turned it on, um, you can do a joystick calibration. You just click joystick calibration and then you move your sticks all around, left, right, up, down, just move them like crazy and all these will fill up with orange and then you know they're calibrated perfectly. Um, this tail gain right here, 
This is going, it's at, these are the factory settings. I haven't changed them. That's going to change how fast this helicopter turns like this. If you put that at a low number, when you push the sticks all the way, it's going to spin that fast. Now, if you put that to 100% and you push the stick all the way, it's going to be like very, very quick. And then you got your throttle control. I just left mine at 75. This is going to speed your unit up a little faster. Okay, we got the main rotor here. This is for if you need to uh, trim up your servos. Say you break a servo, you crash it or something, strip a servo out, you put a new one in there, and you it's not quite at a 90 degrees, 90 degrees to the swash plate, and you need to adjust it a little bit. This is how you would do it. You would click servos trim. Okay, you hit that, servos trim, then start positioning, and then you are able. Okay, you can adjust those to wherever. I'm just gonna leave it at 1500 because mine was perfect. Click your okay. Um, I didn't change anything, so nothing's gonna happen. Now, if you're having problems with your helicopter not moving fast forward, backwards, or side to side, you can um, change these, uh, this max positive and max negative, change that up to a higher number and that it will make it move faster. Let's see if there's anything else we can talk about doing here. Uh, if you don't, if you think you messed anything up, you can go to restore the factory defaults. And I think that's uh, just about it, guys. Um, now you can enable or disable your auto flight. Um, you got the circle, uh, the automatic circle flight mode and the automatic uh, figure eight flight mode you can turn these on or off and you can make sure that your switches are working correctly as well uh, this is your your mode switch 3d GPS or your return to home you can turn off your return to home switch if you would like or whatever um, it's pretty easy to navigate through all of this stuff and then it's got these little tutorial videos I haven't watched them but I imagine you can maybe watch them. It's probably in Japanese with, uh, with lettering at the bottom where you can read. But all right, that's, uh, that's about it there, guys. That is how you calibrate your gyro on your Flywing F450 version 3 with an H1 flight controller. All right, and to get out of this, you don't have to hit save or anything. There's no save buttons. Um, you just hit the X and you're done. And then you simply unplug. You should hear your little noise. And that's it. Well, I hope I covered everything you guys might have wanted to know. And I hope that was simple enough and able to get you back flying and able to get your calibration done and your settings changed or anything you might have wanted to learn how to do. All right, guys, I'm Traxxas Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.